Hi, Dr. Todd Zolliman from Nova Chiropractic and Acupuncture. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Viper 2.0. So the Viper 2.0 is a foam roller with powerful vibration built into it. It has three different settings of vibration. It provides deep relaxation of those tight muscles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate how to use it, and then we're gonna compare this to a traditional foam roller, and we're gonna have Renee give her opinion on how it compares to a traditional foam roller. To use the Viper 2.0, what you're gonna do, there's a on-off switch on the one side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that on, and then I'm gonna have you go on your back here. We're gonna work her glute on her uh, right side. So she's gonna position the roller underneath her glute, and then there on the side here, there's the button to control the vibration. So again, there's three settings for this. So we're gonna turn on the first setting. Now you also wanna make sure that you're already on the roller before you turn it on because the vibration will make it kind of vibrate off the floor and having your body weight on top that will prevent that. And again, she just wants to use this like a traditional foam roller, go back and forth. But again, the idea with this is it's kind of combining the hypervolt or massage gun feeling with the foam roller. And again, it's very firm, it'll get in very deep, but the vibration helps to relax the muscles even more. And again, that's the first setting. That's the second medium setting. Good, and then we'll go to the third highest setting on this one. Again, you can hear how much vibration there is as she's rolling on those different areas. So as you feel comfortable, I would switch between the vibrations. I think one or two is gonna be good for most people. So now we're gonna compare it with the $20 Amazon roller that you would typically get. Again, this is the three foot roller and the black is gonna be the firmest one that they have. So let's have you go in that position you were just in to roll on the glued on this time. And she's just gonna, again, gonna go back and forth. Good, and typically, you know, you find an area, work on that for about 10 to 20 rolls and then move on to the next spot. So Renee, what was your impression of the Viper 2.0 compared to the standard foam roller? I actually really liked the Viper. Um, it's definitely firmer. Uh -huh. So if you have a spot that's particularly sore, um, it might be a little difficult to use. Um, but the vibration piece was really nice. I feel like as I was rolling with the vibration, it felt like it was getting an even larger area because of that vibration going on. Um, but I do think the heaviness um, is a disadvantage of it. And um, again, how firm it is, it would take a little bit of getting used to if you have some very sore areas. Yeah, and I think that's definitely what my impression was it is. I definitely think it gets a little bit deeper than a traditional um, foam roller. Uh, but it also, that vibration, like a massage gun, kind of relaxes the tissue even more. So I think this is a great option. I wouldn't definitely start with this kind of product. I would start with a traditional foam roller and work your way up to it. But for athletes, it's gonna be a great product because you can get in very deep. So after using the Viper 2.0, uh, the pros that I think of this device is it's very firm. So if you need that firmer support, it will get really deep. And then it has the three different settings of vibration. So again, I think versus a traditional foam roller, it may get a little bit deeper and get the muscles to relax a little bit more. Uh, I also like the size of it if you're traveling. Uh, this will fit into any carry on for TSA approval there. And then it also has a really long run time. So it can run for two plus hours of um, use. So if you are traveling, it won't run out on you. And if you do need to, you can just easily charge it up. I'd say the cons of it is if you're not used to using a foam roller, it is very firm. So you may wanna progress up the uh, firmness level before you go right to this, cause it is very firm. The second con for this is if you're used to using a three foot foam roller, going to the smaller foam roller, maybe an adjustment, it will work just as well, but if you're if you like to have a longer foam roller, um, that won't work for you. And then also it's very heavy. So it's, you know, again, traveling wise and a carry on, it will be a little heavier. It will be fine at your home or at your gym, but it is a little heavy to travel with. Those are the main three cons I found from using this product. If you have any questions, reach out to me at 703-912-7822, or you can schedule online at novacarewellness.com.